All right, welcome back to Math Smash. I'm glad you could join us. We're looking at repeated subtraction. So here's our vocabulary. Division, this is uh, the opposite of multiplication. Dividend is the first number in a division question. Divisor is the number that comes after the division symbol. Quotient, also known as our answer in a division question. Subtract, that's what we're going to be doing today. Also known as take away, means the same thing as subtract, and it also means the same thing as count back. And finally, number line, and we'll be seeing those as we work through the questions. Okay, so we have our question here, 15 in groups of three. We've got our number line, and I'm going to start at 15 here. And I'm going to go back in groups of three, okay? So I'm counting back or subtracting in groups of three along here until I get to zero, all right? We always have to end up at zero. So you can see that I've got five hops here. So that means that 15 divided by three is five. And you can check your work by multiplying 3 times 5. That should give you 15. Okay, our next one, 22 in groups, in groups of 5. Again, we've got our number line here. And I'm going to start with 22 on our number line. And I'm going to count back or subtract in groups of 5. So there's 12, and I count back another 5, gives me 7. I count back another 5, gives me gets me to 2. But we don't have enough left to make another group of 5, so we can only subtract 2 in order to get to 0. So I've jumped back or subtracted 4 groups of 5, but I've got a remainder of 2 here, so my answer is going to be 4 remainder 2. Pause the video and have a look at these practice questions. Okay, so I've got a collection of sons here, and they have to be put into groups of two. All right, so there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, and fourteen. So you can see I've got seven groups and one left over. So seven groups of two and one left over, that means I've got 15 sons all together. Okay, I have a big collection of bees here. I've got 35. And made into groups of, we don't know, but I should have eight groups with three left over. Well, we can do a little trick here. I can move this eight over onto the other side of the equal sign. I'm just going to slide the remainder three over here just for a minute, but keep that in mind. So I'm going to make groups of eight here. So there's two groups, three groups. Move these two over here. That's four groups of eight. One, two, three, four. And I've got these three remainders. So I'm going to move those over. And that's our remainder three. All right. So that means I've got four groups. Okay. So now... I'm going to just slide this remainder 3 back over here. And now, here's a little trick. I can move the 4 and the 8 back to where they were. So that means that 35 divided by 4 is 8 remainder 3. Okay, now 27 divided by 6, we don't know yet. So again, I'm going to have my number line. I'm going to start with 27 at the end. And again, I'm going to subtract in groups of six or sets of six. Okay, so that gets me a 21. Subtract another six, 15, another six, nine, another six, three. But again, I don't have enough left in order to get to zero to make another group of six. So I'm going to subtract three. Okay, that gets me to zero. So how many jumps of six do I have? I've got four jumps of six. And I've got the three remainder, so it's going to be four remainder three. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks very much for stopping by. Stay safe, 
stay healthy, and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care.